What is good, YouTube, Quinn Wade, basketball analysis. Coming to y'all with that instant analysis on analysisplayground.com and on YouTube. We're going to talk about the Chicago Bulls defeating the Atlanta Hawks. Now, this was a great game to watch. Both teams competed. Both teams really seemed like they wanted to win this game. It was competitive throughout the entire game. Both teams had back and forth instances where they was fighting for the lead trying to control the game i feel like the bulls played with pace they really played smart they really executed and they really took their time and worked inside out even throughout the game and i feel like kobe white was a player that you thought they would lose because of him he had so many easy open opportunities that he just could nail um even if they was wide open and they was able to weather the storm patrick williams hit a clutch three in a corner that really sealed the game for them. And they win 111 to 100. The Hawks fall to 24 24. They 500, 11 and 14 away. The Chicago Bulls 22 and 24, 13 and 10 at home. Um, Atlanta outscored Chicago 21 to 17 in the first quarter. Chicago had a huge second quarter, 40 to 27. But the Hawks came right back, had a good third quarter, 30 to 21. But Chicago was able to get the last laugh, 33 to 22 in the fourth. And that's where they really showed that they was a better team and they just played better together. And that was the key in this game. Not only did they defend decently, they also attacked in multiple ways offensively. And that was the difference. Patrick Williams, 18 points, plus four and plus minus two personal fouls, two turnovers, one steal, two assists, 10 rebounds, so a double double for him. Three off for three offensive rebounds, four or five from the free throw line, two or four from three, six of 11 from the field. I love what I've seen out of him. He got out in transition. He got to the paint when he needed to. He hit his threes. He spaced the floor. He did everything you need a wing to do tonight. And you just wish you seen more of it. He has glimpses of being a perfect stretch um, small forward slash a guy that can play a little bit of small ball four. Um, he has the athleticism. He has the length. He has the size to be whatever he wants to be. And he has the, the strength to do it too. I just don't see why he can't do it more consistently. But it's part of the growing pains of becoming who you want to be in the league and finding your own identity that hopefully he can find it with this Bulls organization in the future. DeMar DeRozan did what he usually does. 26 points plus 20 and plus minus. Two personal foul, one turnover. Three steals, six assists, one rebound. Um, three or four from the free throw line, one or two from three. 11 or 21 from the field. They didn't call as many fouls for him tonight, but he was still able to score and get to his spots and use his handle to get to the sweet spots and knock in shots. They didn't really need the help from the free throw line to win this one either, but it was just because it, it, they had more contributors tonight. Nikola Vucevic, a double-double, 14 points, 17 rebounds. Six of them was offensive. There's a huge night on the boards. He's, he just has nights like this where... He just takes advantage by just knowing when the ball is going to be. He has a knack for knowing where the ball is going to be and putting energy to get it. And I feel like they was a little lazy in Atlanta, especially because Clint Capella didn't play a lot of minutes. And I feel like he took advantage of that. And they was not as physical as they needed to be on Vooch. And he took advantage of that too, especially on the offensive rebounds. Um, plus 19 and plus minus one person by one turnover, one steal. He also grabbed seven assists, just finding the cutters, finding the shooters, making the right play, just passing out of shots if he couldn't get deep post position and not trying to do too much. He only had one turnover, like I said before. One or two from the free throw line, one or five from three. They was open, so you'll live with it. Six of 14 from the field. His three-point shot cut into his field goal percentage. That's why he didn't shoot 50%. Zach Levine, 20 points, plus one, and plus minus three personal fouls, one turnover, two steals, two assists, six rebounds, four of seven from the free throw line, two of seven from three, seven of 17 from the field. Just a good game from him, again, rebounding, playing some solid D, standing in front of guys, making shots, getting out in transition, knocking down shots in the half court. He did what he was supposed to do tonight for the most part. DeSumo had a disappointing night. Two points, and he also had five personal fouls, one turnover, one steal, one block, five assists, one rebound, all one from the three-point line, one to four from the field. You just wish he gave you a little bit more defensively, but I feel like he was solid tonight. You just wish he didn't pick up as many uh, ticky-tack fouls tonight. But other than that, he was aggressive, 
and he was trying to do the best that he could out there. Um, he only played 29 minutes. Jones Jr., five points, negative seven and plus minus. Three personal fouls, one turnover, one block, one assist, four rebounds. Three of them was offensive. One or two from the three-point line, two or five from the field. He, he gave good activity and good energy and really played hard tonight for them. Drummond, four points, plus two and plus minus. One rebound, two or two from the field. Kobe White. Two of nine from three, but he still had 10 points. Negative one and plus minus three personal foul, two turnovers. He did grab two steals, three assists, three rebounds, and he was 4 of 12 from the field. And Alice Caruso was a big factor off the bench, 12 points, plus 10 and plus minus, one personal foul, one block, three steals, two assists, four rebounds. Two of them was offensive, two of four from three, five of nine from the field. Just a great game from him defensively, getting steals, intercepting, also putting activity, getting blocks um, tonight with one, hit the wide open threes, didn't rush it, didn't force it. They were spot ups and got out in transition and moved the ball um, when he didn't have a good shot. Hill, Terry Bradley, um, Sin Mo, Simonovic, um, Jones did not play. They was healthy, though. Coach's decision, 46% from the field of the team, 32% from three, 66% from the free throw line. You don't love these percentages from three and from the free throw line, but they did get the job done. You want to see that as an improvement in the next game, especially against better competition. If you want to beat the better teams like they have been able to do, you need to shoot better from three and from the free throw line. 47 rebounds, 28 assists. 13 steals, which was a huge reason why they won this game, was the steals, three blocks, nine turnovers, and 20 personal fouls. They took good care of the ball, and they made good decisions in the half court, good execution, like I said before. John Collins, 11 points, plus two and plus minus three personal fouls, five turnovers, one block, two steals, nine rebounds, three of them was offensive, one to four from three, five of 11 from the field. Couldn't really get a good handle on the ball, was trying to post up, make quick decisions, but he also kind of over dribbled a little bit and got caught up in it. Clint Capella, you just want to see him play as much as he can because his team really needs his rim protection and rebounding. 16 points, 12 rebounds, three of them was offensive. He also had two personal fouls, two turnovers, two blocks, two steals, two or three from the free throw line, or three from the three-point line. He attempted one and missed it, seven to 12 from the field. Got some dunk opportunities, some he missed, some hook shots he missed. But overall, a good game from him, a double-double is what you expect. Trey Young, 21 points plus six and plus minus one personal foul. He did have six turnovers, but he did have 13 assists. So a double-double for him, 20 and 10. Um, three rebounds, one of them was offensive, seven to 10 from the free throw line. Kept using his pump fake to get guys to bite. His floater game was pretty tight tonight. And was able to make them all five from the three point line, seven to sixteen from the field. Bogdanovich, eleven points, negative twenty and plus minus three personal foul, two turnovers, one steal, four assists, one rebound, three of eight from the three point line, four of twelve from the field. Dejounte Murray had a great start, kind of disappeared in the second half, twenty points, negative twenty one and plus minus one personal foul, two turnovers, four assists, seven rebounds. Just a great all around game from him. He didn't shoot the three ball particularly well, but didn't shoot it terrible. Two of seven from three, nine and 19 from the field. Um, Kaminsky, two points, negative one and plus minus one turnover, one block, one steal, one rebound, all one from the three point line, one and two from the field. Griffin, 11 points, negative eight and plus minus two assists, three rebounds, three of five from the three point line, four of seven from the field. Johnson, three points, negative 13 and plus minus three personal fouls, six rebounds. One of them was offensive, one of four from the free throw line, all of one from three, one of four from the field. And Aaron Hollanday, uh, five points, plus nine and plus minus one personal foul, one rebound, two of two from the free throw line, one of one from the three point line, one of two from the field. Holiday, Hunter, Merton, Creegy all didn't play. They was healthy, but it was a coach's decision. They did shoot 45% from the field, 30% from three, 63% from the free throw line. They shot the ball inefficiently from three and from the free throw line too. 12 of 19 from the free throw line, 10 of 33 from three. You're not going to really win a lot of games, especially if you're not going to defend at a high level with those type of percentages. 43 rebounds, 24 assists. They did grab six steals, four blocks, 18 turnovers. That's way too much. And 14 personal fouls. That's not that bad. 
and they ended up getting beat. I feel like the Bulls were just smarter, and they played it just a tad bit harder, and that was the game. Other than that, continue to like, continue to subscribe. Check out my podcast, link up in the description. Check out my Facebook page, link up in the description. Like on Facebook to show support. Like this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more content. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis, signing out.